Sorry about the stream break, folks. If you're watching this later on YouTube, there's probably going to be two VODs, part A and part B. I believe it's my Stream Deck software, but it could also be the new version of OBS that I updated to. But something is not talking to the other. And when I tried to switch scenes and go on my my little break there and put up some music, the um, the whole thing crashed. I lost Chrome, all of the tabs I had opened. I lost Stream Deck. I lost OBS. The stream went down. And then when I tried to get back into Twitch, it said that I couldn't access my own API. I see you, Mr. Creeper. You are not staying there. Looking right at me. How did that not kill you? I think we could just fill this in a little bit. Add a few little bits and bobs back here. Maybe I'll make both of them same. I feel like every time I try to do something today, it feels very even. It feels very mechanical. like I've done some similar stuff over here. Okay. I think we can maybe work in some of these saplings. That's all right. We can move that and maybe space it out a little bit more. Sure. Yeah, I like that tree better. Plus, I think it's more interesting to see the top of the bridge in the distance. And we have this nice little backyard balcony thing. A little courtyard on the inn that looks good too. I 
Yeah, it feels very plain, but I do like seeing the top of that path because it kind of gives you the idea, wait a minute, instead of walking by this whole thing, maybe I'll just go see where this path leads. And it takes you down there. So I think that's, I think that's worth leaving. I think that's worth leaving. Uh, I might, I might try switching this out for a fern. Just to see if it'll look good. It's a little distracting. The only other thing I can think of would be putting a proper bush here. Which is not terrible. Maybe we can drop it down too. I think that's okay. Sort of makes sense for the area. Maybe we can scoot another one of these in over here somewhere. I think that's it. I think that's done. Yep. Cool. All right, well, let's take a look at this back part here. How much of this do I want to turn green? The good news is with the bushes, we can do a bit of a gradient. So at least to there, which is just to the right of the flowers. And from this view, I would say about there. All right, so I've got that point. And from there, we'll go down on an angle. And we'll go to about there, I guess. Now we have to turn the whole thing into a bush. Actually, let's get the jungle down here too. So bring that down and then let's see, we'll probably do this too.
Do I have more moss? I don't. Yeah, we're almost done with this this little cottage area. Can almost check things off. I think I'm gonna put another another little branch up in there. This will come down to here. So just trying to get rid of some of this brown. Oops. I feel like this top one could be a bush instead. Think about a moss or azalea, one of the two. Nope, I'm good. Weird. I must have had more stacks than I thought. So all I'm doing here is just trying to make a few little changes to subtly transition from having it all be green to having it be natural minecraft blocks but i think that does the trick right so now the brown of the tree and the brown of the fence here and there don't run into brown like that i feel like that looks like a pretty decent transition it's hard to see when you're just like right on top of it but a little thicker through here, kind of petered it out a little bit, moved it all along there. Pretty good.
Whoops. Okay. Call that bush part done. Make sure it looks good from the top walkway, but I think we're fine. I really haven't changed that much up here. I really can't see it anyway. Yeah, if anything, I could maybe swap this out for a jungle. It's interesting the stuff that you see when you start looking at it from the other side. It's like flipping a drawing around, you know? Yeah, I think that looks really good. All right, success. Now, this little path, which hopefully won't take long, is going to come down through here. And I think it's going to be a pretty straightforward, just straight down to there. So, we might have to carve it into the hillside a little bit in order for this to not be too steep. We'll start with coarse dirt for now. I think that's probably going to have to be too wide there. And then we'll scoot it over a bit. What is going on there? I didn't know my texture pack was doing that. Ooh, that's going to be tricky. I think we might have to use this section here. difficult. Uh, I think unfortunately that's going to have to change. Or maybe we'll change this one. Hmm. And it still functions fine. I think that bush is going to have to get a little bit bigger. So what we'll do is we'll use the bush as a border. Kind of steer the player this way. And I think we're going to have to come in this way. Well, it's sort of the S-curve that I wanted it to be. Oops.
All right, I think we're getting there. This still feels funny, but it's dark and I can't see. It is tricky with the angle and how steep the path is, I agree. I'm not too, too concerned. It also hasn't been textured, so it, you, you kind of lose it when you're looking at it. Um, I don't think... Yeah, you know, it's not bad. This might be a little bit heavy. And then we could drop this down. Yeah. This just doesn't feel right, though. Maybe we can do moss carpet. Yeah, I think that side's good. Now this side, oh, I did it again. We'll just make this a little bit beefier. I think I want to make that a bush. Although, you know, it does soften the edge a little bit. Maybe that's a good idea. Okay, let's grab some of the texture blocks see what we can fix so I've got spruce mangrove I'm gonna need rooted dirt packed mud we still don't have packed mud and stairs and slabs do we that's unfortunate a fence post to hold on to I think we're okay I don't think it needs it This is the more finished path. switch those 
Whoops. And then up here, we can maybe have some of the stripped spruce. Yeah, so what this is gonna do is two things. Like it gives us a couple of different texture changes so that we can see the steps, the layers as we go down. Same as the way up, it starts to become a little bit more clear, less jumbled. almost want to put a trapdoor there. Yeah. Maybe here. And That might be too close. We'll see. Realizing that this path that I keep on walking back and forth across is not wide enough. I keep on walking on the pressure plates. I guess that becomes a problem logistically. Yeah. I do there. That works. I think maybe we can put a slab here of planks. Yeah, that looks okay. I wish I could narrow it up a little bit there. I don't think that would work. No. Well, you know, it's not bad. Yeah, you know, I think that's okay. Kind of overgrown. I think it matches. I wonder if this would be better as grass or fern. Uh, it's not quite the same vibe, is it? Oh, maybe that's what I could put here. I 
That's cool. Don't think it shows up on the map, but it's fine. So it covers it up, makes the path feel narrow, but then doesn't, not something you bounce off of. Tim Mirin, thanks very much. Tier one sub, 21 months. That's amazing. Be in a minute. Appreciate you coming by. Can't say I'm crazy about that bush. Yeah, it's better. I like the wheat field. And this, this just feels very tight. I wonder. Hmm. I guess we can just walk across there. Feels good to me. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Huzzah. All right, let's just take a little scoot around here and we'll see. So this is the, the green or the lawn next to the West Hill River Inn. And it's taken a few streams, most of which were spent on the cottage. But I'd say that's pretty seamlessly integrated into the landscape. I like it. Also going to scoot down this way and we'll walk back. That was a good call. Did somebody suggest putting a tree there in the chat? Or at least confirm that it looked good. Like the background roof, the mid-ground roofs, foreground tree. I really like it. Asher, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. When I joined you, you were constructing the wharf crane. So much has happened since then. Holy smokes. Wow, yeah, that's way over here. Those are way down there. Speaking of way down there. I'm going to use this map to my advantage. I detect a pink block. I'm not sure whether they were all added at once or whether they are continuing to be added as I remove them. I don't see any more. It's hard when some of the stuff I've made is pink. Usually it's like back alleys and stuff. Right when you least expect it. I'm glad that Nightbot catches bosses, uh, bots as well, Sandy. So it looks good. Uh, hard to tell what it looks like coming this way because, of course, the shulker boxes are in the way. But I think we've got a pretty solid, solid view, solid vibe. I like all the green behind there. Works out really well. Excellent. I like this little decorative area here too. 
And this creates a nice frame. Not that those trees are all that special to look at, but frames the bridge over there. Yeah, very, very happy. Okay, let's uh, empty the old inventory because this is painful. Oh, good. Have plenty of those in there. Easy breezy. We need to repair those too. Book. Yay, I like checking stuff off. West Hill River in grass. Spruce River points of interest, North River banks, road textures. Done. Now we get to figure out what to do. I was just saying the other day on the spawn chunks that it's always difficult when you're about halfway through a stream and you kind of finish what you set out to do. Because then you're like, what do I do for the rest of the stream? Uh, well, we could we could rough in some things on the other farms. I'll show you what we can do here. Let's just get up somewhere as high. I mean, I guess I could probably use the camera for this too. But So that completes, I think, the entire part of that river. So like if we look at... Uh, oh, no, we haven't done that part yet. That was close. But everything from here, all in through here, is all decorated and done all up to there. So that's great. Um, both sides. It's only this part here we haven't finished. I've got no idea what's happening here yet. I really am not sure what to do there. Uh, we've got... This area left, and of course, all of the river. So this whole river still needs to be done. Uh, we've done all the lower parts. We've done all of the lower parts here. All of that's finished. Obviously, it kind of bleeds off into nothing over here, but um, the viewpoint is the road. You, there's nothing really over there to go and look at. Uh, and then, of course, we have two little farm parts here as well. We've got this par farm and we've got this farm. This one I think was going to be abandoned, so I didn't have a whole lot of work to do there, which would be cool. But I feel like it might be a good idea to, to section off something here by the bees. It's really fun how much detail these have from the the camera, the map view. Yeah, so there's the abandoned farm, or what will be. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to put in a couple of walls. I'll just use the mossy cobble and the cobble to lay out some basics. I think that'll satisfy my brain for now. The, yeah, the, the apiary. Apiary? I think it's called an apiary. Bee farm? Pretty sure. On a personal matter, what do you think about bees? What do you mean? Bees in real life or Minecraft bees? Oh, I need to get the bees over here. That's something I need to do. Do I have a lead kicking around? Not at present. Hold on. Uh, I mean, bees in real life, I would rather not get stung by one, but I I think that they're an immediately important part of the ecosystem and then I like them but I don't I don't really interact with them very much um, and then as far as in Minecraft I like them in Minecraft because they provide movement uh, maybe 2B should be fine they provide movement 
which I think is great. Yeah, wasps I don't like. Wasps and those kind of things are not my not my jam. I don't know whether you can just lasso these guys and move them. They're all inside now. I guess in the good way they'll be empty when they come out. Oh, because the sun's going down. But yeah, I generally, um, I don't have a lot of experience with bees in real life. I cook with honey a lot, though. I use it in my barbecue sauce, stir fries. I could just hold a flower too, but see, I, but the thing is I only want a couple. Like I don't need the whole, the whole ream of bees. Take a shortcut. Might as well walk all the paths that I spent so much time working on. Let's get you before you start pollinating something. One and need one more of you. Oh, it broke. That's not supposed to happen. There we go. And I'll grab you. Perfect. It's like having bee balloons. Now I think they should just go in the hive. Once I get them closer. Or are they gonna try to go back to it? Like they look like they're trying to go back where I brought them from. Beeloons, yeah, that's a good that's a good one. All right, now if I just hang here for a second, are you gonna want to pollinate other things? Are you gonna immediately try to take off and go the other way? Oh, he went into the hive, I think. You are still trying to go the other way, aren't you? You're going to go in? I think once he's in, they'll call it home. Oh, you're going to do the pollinating thing? I really have not done anything with bees in the game. Alistair made a bunch of um, bee farms and stuff for honey, honeycomb. Perfect. Victory. That did not take very long at all. So hopefully they'll stay there and they'll use this garden as what they're gonna pollinate. And then we'll just have some movement going back here, which would be great. I think they just have to be close enough to an empty hive or a hive that has space for them in it. And then once they are in it, then they kind of claim it as their own. I may have to move some of these hives. I have to be careful here. Uh, how do I want to divide this place up? I think we should not have the road to this new farm immediately across the road from the other farm. I feel like this should happen maybe down here. And then this spot could be walled off a bit. I don't know if I want to do a wall or I want to do a fence.
Maybe we'll do a little bit of both. But I'll start off with with a wall. And I think I'll grab some coarse dirt too. Oh yeah, I knew three bees would fit into one hive. I just I only want two over there. But it looks like they're doing what we want them to. Saw one a second ago. That'll add a nice little um, texture change to the front of the beehive as well because it'll have, eventually it'll have the little honey detail on it. So just because this is going to be easy to do, I think we'll just kind of come off here. Guess maybe three wide would be okay. A little even. Maybe we'll push this a little bit. Pretty good. Oops. Mm, I don't know about that, but it'll it's a start. It's a start. Then maybe the wall if we had one. Thank you, sweet Sandy, appreciate it. Could be maybe here. rough this in Try not to make things too round looking.
It's a weird shape. I think I might be going the wrong way. Now, where would this one start and end? Probably with this hill. I think this hill would be part of the other process. For the other farm. It was a silly thing to do to those. Uh, let's see here. I gotta remember there's a waterfall here that we want to work on, so I want there to be a view of that. So here might be a good spot for this to come down. Yeah, and then we can maybe curve it around to there. And maybe this could be more of a retaining wall. I did not bring a bed. That is not good because it is very dark out here. Yeah, that's fun to see the bees moving around. All right, I am going to listen to the sweet Sandy in the chat room reminding me that I should take a break because it is another hour past the last one. So I'm going to keep streaming for a little bit more. So hopefully you're enjoying the day. Uh, we're going to be back in about five or six minutes.
No crash this time around, but I think it's because Stream Deck was not closed. I think it was ending the Stream Deck software while streaming is what crashed everything. So I'll have to look into that. Unfortunately, you can't test these things because I can't stream offline. Like I have to be live to Twitch in order to test anything, which is maddening when you're trying to uh, troubleshoot things. It's, uh, it's a rough go. All right, so I think we can probably bring this around and line it up here. I'll aim for like an arc coming this way. Hope that makes sense. Two, three, four, five. And we'll probably incorporate this tree somehow. Actually, maybe we'll stick closer to the road. Yeah. Well, that's pretty crooked. Let's not do that. That sort of works. This could be very large. Well, the thing I'm thinking of is like right now I've got these bees all in a line and I don't think I want to have them that close. I think I want to have them a little bit more spread out and in a more interesting fashion. This was just a temporary place to put them because what happened was we bred all these, we got all these bees because we were trying to get beehives. So I was growing, I think it was azalea bushes to get the beehives for the top of that building over there. And I was like, well, I have all these bees. I might as well do something constructive with them. And so that's kind of where we ended up. Start from here again. Want this to feel pretty natural. We can always move this road. This road doesn't have to stay exactly here. I like it, but it doesn't have to stay exactly where it is.
feels like kind of a straight line. I think maybe I should have gone the other way. That's not good either. Adam Baum, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Keep on needing to push this farther and farther along. I think I got it. Yeah, kind of a unique shape. That's a little bit more like it. So here I'm going to, um, I don't know what we're going to do here. I guess I'll just maybe drop it in here for now. I'm trying to be careful not to hit the bees. I think that looks okay. I could have gone bigger, but I feel like it's quite a large space. I'm not sure about the way that this is shaped in, but we could always mess around with that a little bit later. I have no idea what's happening inside. But there's a really good chance that the house part is going to be maybe in the back corner here. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of boring to look at, so having the house there might be a good idea. And I kind of want to go with brown. I don't know why. Maybe we can pop in some color. Maybe we can get some yellow in there. Make some um, color choices in the roof or something.
Uh, what else could I do over there? Grab some of those for fun for now. Yeah, I'm thinking straight ahead. So, kind of like this area right there. It's a little close. Definitely want there to be room around the back, too. I feel like these bees already have all their flowers. Be okay to move some of this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So maybe we'll put something here. Let's try to think about a different shape. Try something new. And then if this had a roof on it. that roughly the right position maybe it's a little bit farther to the left than I thought I was gonna put it that's for sure You won't be able to see it from down here. Hmm. I mean, in a good way, it's not too far to the right because then you can still see the waterfall from the road, which is good. And it's not blocking the waterfall this way either. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was going to go more to the right too, Sandy. But I don't think that would be a good idea. We could have part of it maybe go farther to the right. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Come to the pavement, please and thank you. Where if you destroy something, I'm not going to care as much.
Yeah, see, I want to have some room around it. I don't want to put it right up against the edge. Not that we couldn't move the edge. I mean, we could totally just move that out farther. That's right. I'll pop in a few more blocks here. I like doing stuff like this, just rough, because it gives you a chance to just envision what it might look like. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let me put that there. And I'm not sure where that would go. I obviously did not put that where I thought I was going to put it. So this is, I'm thinking that this is going to be one part of the build. That is a thunderstorm. Something like that. Ominous. Here come the zombies. I need to repair my shears anyway. So I'll take it. On fire. Man, there are mobs everywhere. Come here, spider. I don't see any creepers. Oh, I forgot the bees were going to be flying all over the place. <laughs> now he's up there. <laughs> right. There were a couple creepers over here somewhere, but they might have disappeared. I'm going to have to move the beehives, and that's going to be tricky. What do we need for that? Campfires? We can do four at a time. Have silk touch on my axe? I do. Does it have to be? Is it, is it one spot or is it? Can it be directly under it or does it have to be one block below that? Does anybody remember? Yes. 
Yes to what? Can be directly under. Okay. It's going to be noisy because, of course, now we're going to hear all the dripping noises. All right. I guess we'll have to wait until nighttime. What I can do in the meantime is pick up all of this. We'll have some hovering bees nests for a bit, or beehives. A little bit of a little bit of gameplay, a little bit of organization happening here. Sure. Undo what we have done. I could probably just go craft a bunch of campfires. How many do I need? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's just do sixteen. Look at that. Skills. You don't need smoke when breaking the hive? Really? I thought you did. I'm confused. At night, you don't need the campfires as long as the bees are inside. Oh, only when harvesting from it. I see. Well, I only had four campfires left anyway. I needed more. What I should do is... Put them all in a shulker box. Two tags, there's bees in that one, I think. So I'll bring this one over. It's just silk touch to pick them up, okay. If any of the bees are outside, they will get mad if their hive is broken. That makes sense. All right. Well, if we don't need the campfire, let me just do this. And I guess I can harvest these up as well. And then we just wait for nightfall. I feel like it makes sense to have little walls around all the farms. Kind of a completionist. So while we're waiting for the sun to go down, I can try to put a little bit of a wall on this one. Although, I don't know exactly how to handle this section. Maybe I just connect them up. 
I mean, this one is gonna have probably kind of a torn down wall. It's probably not gonna be a full, full wall. something like that and then it doesn't make any sense why would they like why would the walls just create like a little alley though so I don't know Maybe this should go this way. Instead. Sort of, maybe. Something like that, I don't know. And then this side. Again, like I feel like it seems kind of redundant to have two walls so close together. Maybe this could just be probably more of a bush, I think. All right, sun's going down. So this should be pretty straightforward. One hopes. It's weird because they're making noises, but it's just the honey dripping. But it sounds like movement. Okay, that's done. Maybe the path continues. Ah, uh, that's a good call. That's a good call. Uh, these all have different numbers of tags, I guess. I don't know why they don't stack. Different numbers of bees, maybe, I guess. I'm not gonna know which ones have bees and which ones don't. Justin Tunes, hello. Building goes well, thanks very much. And we'll grab some more of these. I need to get more spruce. Maybe we have to do a little bit of spruce harvesting. I think maybe what I want to do is I want to change the direction. I think maybe the house has to get to go the other way. Because what I was thinking there, Sandy, is that we could push the roof farther north, but then not the whole building. 
So if I change the gable on this to go the other way, uh, get rid of that. And if I just did this, I should have brought scaffolding. Is that the middle? That's the middle. Whoops. So if I had something like that, then this could also just come out farther. Wake Jilliams, hello, hello. Yeah, it's a little big, but that could be kind of cool. We'd have to figure out a way to make it look more unique. Um, but I like the idea of a little space like that. It's only three inside. Maybe something like this? I don't know. Just, it feels very big. So, I'll have to think about that. Also feels very linear. And that it's taking up too much of the space. Maybe I have to put it on an angle. Yeah. Not a fan. Plus, if it's too far back, then where do the bees go, right? Now let's just say that I want to see the, the waterfall from the road. Specifically here. So then we could put I had blocks here. I could go even farther. That's about my limit, maybe. Yeah, and then if I brought it closer to here, maybe this could be a natural entrance, even though I didn't intend it to be. Because if I did that, I could maybe do... I feel like sections of three would be okay. Then is that the angle that I want it to be on? No, I want it to go the other way. So 
So then I have to decide where distance Y is here. So let's go that way. I may have to go with a different, different vibe here. That's not bad. That could be good. I'm going to try that. Let's see. Yeah, it feels like I need to have it face the road a little bit more, maybe. Flopmeister, hello, hello, welcome in. Thanks for the raid. Really appreciate it. Folks, if you want to check out what uh, Flopmeister was doing on stream, make sure you go follow them on Twitch. For folks coming in with the raid, if you're new, my name is Joel Duggan and I do a bunch of things here online. I stream on Twitch four days a week. I've been moving my schedule around this week because I've got some construction happening in the house. So uh, normally I'm on a Wednesday through Saturday stream schedule, but today is Tuesday, obviously. I also do the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs, which you may be aware of. And that's at thespunchunks.com. Brand new episode came out yesterday. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't know. Houses on angles are always really hard, so we'll have to see if this is something I actually want to do. I'd be probably more inclined to make it like an L shape or something. So that would give this big area to be for the bees, and also would be a decent thing to look at as you're coming up. Like, you'd be looking right at the bees. Kind of fun. I uh, love the Sponge Chunks. Great podcast. Hey, very cool. Thanks for coming in from there. And thanks for uh, listening. I really appreciate it. It was nice to have the video version up again this week now that Johnny's back. It's uh, it's a lot of work to do on my own, I have to say. it's uh, It's a big show. Yeah, so that if that's where the bees are, then um, that would be good. So maybe what we'll do temporarily is I'll try to put in some of these bees. So let's do maybe like here.
And then one, two, three. Sort of make it more interesting. And can maybe come back the other way. So maybe that will be kind of what happens with the bees. Uh, I could see myself nudging that a little bit farther north as well, so that when you're coming around here, maybe this would all be the garden and then the beehives would be in the back. So then you'd see the waterfall and whatever else we do over here, and then we'd have bees kind of flying around. I think that'd be kind of cool. Jake says, caught the latest, latest podcast episode. Feel good to have picks in the mix. You had the last few weeks amazing going solo with the guests. Thanks very much. That's kind of you. I, uh, I appreciate that. It's, um, it's a fair bit of pressure. I mean, I, I'm used to solo hosting but um, on the, the Citadel Cafe, but uh, it's a much different ballgame when the number of people that listen to the Spawn Chunks is a lot higher. <laughs> than the Citadel Cafe, so I really appreciate that. Thanks for the ping, Sandy, I appreciate it. Why are you way over here? Your home is back there. They re really do travel far afield, don't they? All right, I think it's time to put this stuff away. Do I have yellow flowers out here? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I think it's time to move all this stuff. A good way to wrap things up here. Not sure how many of these I'm going to be able to carry. Oh, we have reached the end. Yep, I think it's about time. A little bit of organization. Put things back where I found them. Yeah, it was really fun to have the different guests on along the uh, along the different weeks on the spun chunks. So for folks that don't know, hey, speaking of raids, Scotsman UK, how's it going? Welcome in, folks. Give it a minute for everybody to kind of file in. Hope you had a good stream, Scotsman. Scotsman, of course, a member of both this community and the Spawn Chunks community. If you want to go follow some of the epic builds that Scotsman is doing, check out Scotsman UK. That's Scotsman with one S in the middle. Uh, over at twitch.tv slash Scotsman UK. Thanks for bringing in the peeps. What were you up to on stream today? What were you up to on stream? Always big builds. I always see such big builds happening 
over on Scotsman's channel. Are you ready for the Minecraft Hangout on uh, Spongebob's Patreon? Carved deep slate, stone mini blocks. I think those go over here. Bone meal. Short grass. Where's the regular grass? Did I not pick that up? There it is there. Bushel azalea, bushel box azalea. I guess I can put that back there. I guess my other dirt box is out there somewhere. Make sure I'm not losing anything. Uh, the mod for the Shulker boxes is Shulker Plus, which is developed by Iskal 85s team. I don't know if it's working on 1.21 yet because we're not on 1.21 yet. I'm, I'm so behind in trying to get that sorted. All gone. All right, cool. One rocket left. It doesn't work for everything, or at least it um, it it works for items very well. I don't think it looks very good for blocks. The blocks kind of stick off the top of the um, of the box, but it, any kind of item it looks very good on. I think. What are in these carrot box? This kind of goes over here, I think. Mud box. I think the flowers are the ones in the floor. And this spares plus that. These two go here. Almost like I know where everything goes. Sweet. All set for next time. Sweet Sandy, thank you for the reminder. Yeah, so I think they have a custom one for Hermitcraft. I don't think that Iskull's team has released that for the public, at least as far as I know. I have to go look. Um, I haven't looked online in a little bit. Last time I was looking was early June, so I haven't really gone that far. Um, but for folks that just came in, I can give you kind of an overview of what we did today. We still had a bunch of the green space around this cottage. Uh, this is the cottage I was talking about on Monday's show. And so all of this wasn't decorated. So I kind of came in through here, did a little bit of light landscaping. We also popped in and did some stuff behind on the hill here. So here's been landscaped and greened. And I'll show you why that's important in just a second here. I'm going to sleep so I can get some sunlight happening. Where's the bed? So we created a nice little functional space here. It's 
So now when you're coming up the road, this hill behind this cottage is all green. You don't have to any, you don't see any of the brown sides of the grass blocks. And we put in this tree. And even though at the moment it hides the inn, when you back up a bit, you can still see the inn quite clearly. So I like that a lot. And a nice foreground element. And then we also added in the rest of this path. It goes down to the river. You can also go back up this way if you want. And then we filled in this little bit here. Uh, it looks a little bit strange this time of day with the sun coming down. These end up looking very bright. They don't look that bright later on. Uh, but I like this tree quite a bit. I like the fact that it breaks up the um, the wheat field in the background there. It's kind of nice to have something moving over your scenery. Kind of a parallax effect. So that took most of the stream. That's what we were doing most of the stream today. There will be two VODs, uh, part A and part B. We had a bit of a crash right around my first break. Um, B is flying very high. And um, after that, we decided to try and come through here and slowly work out where we might want to make the bee farm. And this is what we've come up with so far. This is just, this is how I start a project. I kind of rough things out, put in a wall around the farm, the birch logs are going to be probably where the beehives are. We'll see. Uh, basically, what I don't want to do, I don't want to block the waterfall. We're going to make that look nice. And I want to have potentially an entrance here. I'm not really sure. And then I have another entrance over here that I've sort of blocked off loosely. I just realized I don't have any blocks on me to fill that in. <laughs> So that's potentially an entrance to the back. I don't know. We'll have to see. It would make sense. A lot of these places have two entrances. So that could be a good way to do it. This could then curve back out here, go around the back. So I want to make these functional um, homesteads, you know? So uh, I'm not sure about the angle of the house. I'm probably going to change my mind a bunch of times. But essentially this, this little road here and how this gets framed is kind of what I want to do. This is going to need some love because it is not my favorite tree. But I like that so far and it looks pretty good on the map. I think you can kind of see what I'm going for, at least in terms of a rough idea. So uh, if you have not already, please check out the Spawn Chunks on your favorite podcast app. It's free. We do it once a week, every Monday. The latest episode we talked about the crafter as well as a little bit of bedrock news and some news from uh, Minecraft merchandise, actually. They have new Beats headphones. You can listen to the Citadel Cafe, which is coming up not this week, but the following week. Myself and Stephen ESC are actually hanging out after stream today. We're going to go watch Deadpool and Wolverine. We're going to talk about that on the show next week, so that should be fun. And, of course, check out Twitter and Instagram, at Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And uh, don't forget to check out Patreon. It's one of the best ways to support me. It's less than a cup of coffee a month. It's only two bucks and uh, keeps me streaming. I really appreciate it. You get to join the Discord if you join the Patreon. Same thing with the Tier 1 or Prime Gaming sub. They're all the same. All leads to the same Discord. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for modding, Sandy. I know it was a kind of a short notice on an odd Tuesday stream today, but really appreciate it. Y'all have a good time for the rest of the afternoon. I'm going to try to pass you on to somebody else playing Minecraft. And I'll see you next time, which probably won't be tomorrow because we have some construction happening. But uh, Thursday should be the next scheduled stream. I will put out a tweet and let the Discord know what those changes might be. Bye for now.